Last time I took my entire set of little miniatures and drenched them all in black oil color. Just to swipe most of it away to get this sort of grimy effect. And uh, it might seem like a daunting task, but I mean I've done it many times now so I feel really confident. I can remove all of it if I want to. But this time I would be doing the same thing, exactly the same thing. Uh, same sort of colors, the same sort of fellows, uh, everything is exactly the same, except that this time I will be using Nuge. Which is some sort of acrylic medium that, um, well, promises to be what all colors are, pretty much. You can do the same thing. And this time I don't feel equally confident, but you know, only live once, you know. Water based acrylic paint, shake well. Okay, let's go. Mixing the news. I watched the tutorial from Monument Hobbies as to how to do this, or at least part of it, because it was quite long actually. Uh, and it's pretty straightforward. All you need to get started is whatever color you desire, news, and an old brush. And in the end, you also need something to wipe it off with. A, a popular option would be a Q tips. To make a proper comparison, I would like to have an oxide black. Uh, but I don't have one in acrylics, so well, I just mixed in a bit of brown there just to get a bit chromatic black. If you already have an off black or don't really care, um, you're immediately ready for the next step. Put your colors in a bowl, add the news and mix. Pretty straightforward. The only thing that comes across as a bit odd is the sheer amount of news added. If you use a retarder or similar, you usually you know put a drop or two in there. But here you're supposed to put in several times the amount of paint. But the bottle is large and I cannot recall it being really expensive. So let's go ahead and add an unreasonable amount, you know, somewhere around three times the amount of paint. I suppose this means that it's preferable to have a very high pigment color. Mix well with the unbroken old brush or something and then smear the gooey stuff all over the miniatures. If the news is to replace the job with all color, you need to be able to apply it in a very casual way. Pretty much like I do here. <laughs> I must admit that I chickened out a bit and only did 10 actual troopers, leaving the command fellows for a traditional oil job. In hindsight, 10 seemed to be a pretty good number for a batch. I put them in order so that I could keep track of, you know, certain drying time. By the time I got to the 10th miniature, I had the first one ready to go. I think at least. I opted for using Q-tips and already by this time it was not ready to work as dry. This is probably something like 10 minutes or so. I think drenching one guy is roughly one minute and 10 guys, you know, yeah, you can do the math there. So it didn't really work as dry immediately. So I added a bit of water and it did wonders and it really felt like something similar to the oil job. It wasn't entirely the same though. I found it hard to get more of a gradient going. To get that sort of feeling of organic dirt. However, I suppose it's unfair to, you know, compare the first time usage to oils which I've been using for, you know, close to two years now. And already by the time I got to the last trooper, I felt that I was more in control. One thing that is very similar is that you can really remove the stuff entirely, just like an oil bath. The original color will be pretty much as vibrant as when you put them there in the first place. Unless they are already dried, of course. And here we get to my main point of warning. I had some troubles with stains. It seems that even at this pace of only doing 10 at a time, you can get into situations where the color has already dried in some places. It's annoyingly mainly at raised and flat areas, which is bad because those are the places where you don't want your grime to, or shadows if that's what you use it for. My suspicion is that it is an inherent flaw of using an acrylic based product for this kind of job. All is cure, acrylics dry, and they dry faster in areas with thin coverage. 
like the raised areas where you don't want it. While at the same time, it dries slower in the recesses where you do want it to stick. The problem thus became that I got a bit worried and to avoid stains I added perhaps a bit too much water to the q-tip and I speeded up the removal. This in turn to less stains but also that most of the news from the recesses got removed, especially the more shallow recesses. In my view this is a rather large issue as it contradicts the main purpose of the grime. I suppose applying it with an airbrush might be very beneficial but I've not got one so I'm not sure exactly how to solve this. If you have any suggestion or experience using this, uh, please put it in the comments. Could help me, could help others. I also try to squeeze in pigments and, and the taint in the same way as I do with the oils in my regular workflow. It did not work at all. It could perhaps work if you do fewer in a batch, but then it might also just be easier to do it in a totally different way. In the end, I believe that my way of doing things here are really the odd one out, so for other people I think this is probably not an issue. In the end, will I throw my old colors away now and only use Nuge? No. Uh, I'm actually quite impressed by Nuge, uh, but it does not mean that they are the same. Um, in a sense, that, you know, like the, I talked about in my last video about the difference between a Cenethal with an airbrush versus the Cenethal with a spray can. Um, does not mean that one of them is good and the other one is bad. But there are some things that I like about news and some things I don't like equally much. I really like the speed uh, that you can just branch 10 guys and then start immediately with the first one. Um, but on the other hand there is a smaller timing window uh, where you have to get things right. So yeah I suppose it takes a bit of experience there but they are different. But that does not mean that one is bad. But then we also got to like the, the real big thing. I mean, this does not require any sort of other additives than water, which is like a huge thing, actually. I would say this is actually really nice. No thinner, no smells, and uh, you know, even odorless thinner has a smell, and um, you have to keep it separate from your other hobby stuff. Uh, it's not a huge thing. I mean, I will use the oils for other things than just branching the, the miniatures. I often paint with oils, so for me it's not a huge thing, but if you don't want to get into this whole oil-based territory, yeah, I think news is really a good option if you want to do this kind of stuff. And, you know, just not having to care about that stuff, I suppose, means less hassle. And less hassle means, you know, happier hobby time. And that is... You know, the, the point of this whole thing. Don't forget to enjoy your hobby. <laughs>